Eu queria convidar agora Ian Feltro, advisor em comunicação em Open Science. Ian. Thank you. Good afternoon. I hope you are not offended by this cover. Um, you're not the dummies, obviously, but if you are offended, then take this as an invitation to engage with the discussion with even more passion. Anyway, um, which one is forward? Obvious, obviously. So, um, preprints, pre um, we have to be very careful to realize what it means, what a preprint means. What they don't mean is preprints. These are preprints. <laughs> and especially if you notice that uh, some uh, major journals are not even trying to print anymore. Um, the whole idea of preprints becomes a bit of, I don't know of, of a better word, but let's make sure that we understand what preprints means in our context, because it, we've seen it with open access, people give it all, all manner of uh, definitions, and then, you know, the, uh, 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 the, the Babylonian, uh, um, I don't know how you call it in English, but, you know, we, we, we don't understand each other anymore, which is bad. So, uh, on the other hand, we can discuss this too long, what's in a name, as long as we understand, mutually understand, what is in that name. Uh, so, um, in my view, preprints, this is with the background of open access, is an insurance policy. Uh, why an insurance policy? Well, in case you cannot or do not want to or for some reason you cannot uh, publish with open access, uh, then um, you can, your preprint could actually be op open access and all the other stuff, publishing in science, nature, whatever, uh, is then something added to it. Uh, so you ensure that your material is freely available for the world and uh, for the research community, but wider than that for the whole world. I'll try to be very brief here because I really would like to see a discussion after this. Um, I hope I'm not going too fast here, but uh, if you post a preprint, then you're really submitting your paper to the world, to all your colleagues uh, all over the world, and, and uh, it, it obviously is also faster, it's less expensive, etc., etc. Uh, but it's, it's an insurance policy, as I said earlier. Don't, don't, don't get uh, confused by the logos. Um, the top one is an insurance company I have an insurance with. <laughs> anyway, then there's a question of quality. Um, so, and there's a question of peer review, you know, how are they related and how is that related to uh, preprints? Um, is there no danger that uh, inaccuracies occur in preprints? Well, of course, there's a danger that that happens, but the real question is, are the inaccuracies in preprints worse than inaccuracies in published papers that have been peer reviewed and subsequently uh, you know, uh, used as credible or the final word, the version of record? We need to go, by the way, to a record of versions that will be much more uh, suitable. Um, use of have I not said that before? <laughs> anyway, the whole process of science is in a way peer review, or the whole process of peer review is what I would think is science. That's what you do. You, you, you see material that's been published by others, you evaluate it, you think about it, you work on it, you dispute it, uh, you build on it, etc., etc. So uh, the, the uh, submitting your material to the whole community is the best guarant guarantor of uh, quality of science. So we don't need to worry about that in the, in the preprint world. Uh, and of course, um, to be able to get the whole community involved and uh, uh, to, to, to enable them to comment and, and what have you, it needs to be open access. It needs to be open for them, because otherwise it, 
you won't be able to achieve that. Um, so with the background of open access, the real significance of uh, preprint on top of all the other benefits that have been mentioned um, is of course that it, is, it guarantees uh, an openness in the scientific uh, discourse. So if you have a preprint posted, you can always decide later to submit it to a journal for a different reason. For instance, um, because you need the ribbons, right? Um, it's nice to have them, I suppose. You may need them for your career, uh, you know. Uh, but wouldn't it be nicer to have a ribbon like this? That, that then you really prove your worth to the scientific community. I would like to keep it to this because uh, we have, uh, otherwise we lose valuable time for uh, the discussion afterwards, if you don't mind. Thank you very much.